<clears throat> okay guys, welcome back to another update on the fish rule here from Cichlid Nation. So today we're going to give you a, a little more detailed um, review of the actual filtration and all the different cichlid tanks in the tank, in the room. What are you getting? Oh, oh that's fell all the way down. I thought you were going to install it right now. So the th no, I, uh, I can hand wave my hanger fell off. Oh, it fell off again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking at. Um, so, guys, if you're new here, if this is your first time, like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're always making updates on the fish tanks in the fish room. Uh, we have a lot of cichlids down here. There's really, this is really a, a whole level of art here, the way this room is laid out. These, I'm gonna give you a quick look over the room and then we're gonna look at the cichlid tanks in particular. Uh, these ones here are the dragon bloods. They are uh, growing up quite well here. You can see them. They've been in here, how long have they been in here now? Do you have the calendar still? Or did the calendar, calendar move on? So this is the dragon bloods over there. This is the Mabunas. Um, these ones are looking pretty awesome. A lot of them have made that made their way into the big tank. Not a lot, like maybe uh, three or four of each one has been transferred into the big tank here. And, um, you know, it's there's a couple in there that you wish you could get out because they're so beautiful, but um, it's tough to get them out. So they're, they're, living, they're living comfortably in here, you know. There's one there. He, he, needs to, he needs to get transferred into the big tank for sure. For sure, for sure. And here's the best female. She's really just a healthy, healthy girl. She's a healthy, healthy girl. And uh, if you catch her in the light the right way, she has like a ton of blue on her. For a female, she's very colorful. And then here's the rest of the females, all in one tank here. Keep all the females, including the Mabuna. They, they, they fight. This tank's a little bit too small. For, for this size and quantity of, of cichlids, female cichlids. But it's odd because there's so many more, so I mean, it might just need more fish in here, honestly. If you had more fish in there, I'd, I think they would fight less. Dude. What's that? And that was May 23rd. May 23rd, those, the dragon bloods. Yeah. So they're almost, almost a year, kind of, three months from a year. Catching them pretty quick. Yeah, three months for him a year. And then here is uh, what's in here? Dr more dragon bloods or albinos? Those are the himbunas, and there's five of the dragon bloods that had we put in there before. Oh, that's right. Yeah, like I didn't feel like we could strip in the tank to catch them. And yeah, so I just left them in there and put all the rest of them. <laughs> they look awesome in here, dude. In there for now. Look how many there is. That guy had really cool looking. Yeah, that's a really serious looking fish. He's definitely a mutt of some type. He keeps flipping out every time I move the camera, unfortunately. Yeah, you gotta go real slow with him. I'll put it right up against the tank here. Wow, they're like ignoring the food kind of. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I can't get that one guy on camera right now, but he'll be around. He'll be around. There'll probably be more than one that looks like him too. Awesome. That one looks like it might look like him eventually. Here he is. He's, he's darting, man. He's, he's darting. Here he is. He's too fast. I'm getting dizzy. 
I'm getting busy trying to catch them. So yeah, this is a this. There's like it looks like there's 50 fish in here, dude. Yeah, I think we counted them. Wasn't there like 35 or something? 30? I don't know what it was. It was a lot. I'll tell you that. It was a lot, and it's still a lot. Here's the Frontelza tank. I like they're looking pretty good today. Yep. They're, they're getting. They're looking healthy. There's a big one in there. Let's see if we can get them up. See how this guy, he's not, you know, big compared to a full grown, no, but he is a big fish compared to the other guys. There he, oh, there he is. There he is, he or she. You can also get the zoom action. Oh yeah, new, new angles here, zoom action. <laughs> Yeah, so those are the, that's those guys. So here's the filtration system for most of the tanks. We talked about it a little bit last time, and I just want to give a full tour of it. So it's this. This is the the, the best female. She is uh, she is running off of the main filtration system here. You can see her go right there. There's some good angles on her. <coughs> Yeah, you can really see she's a, a sharp looking fish. She's a sharp looking fish. And then there's these guys. This one here, this, so that's a 30 gallon. This is a 150 gallon. All males. All right, that runs off of the same filtration. And then there's... The overflow. the overflow system is right here on all of the tanks I just mentioned. The 150 has it, and then the female tank has it down the other end there. This tank here has an overflow on it. Okay. And then this one here works with an overflow. Alright, and it all comes around, around the back of the tanks here, out of the way, very discreet. Here's the overflow. Okay, maybe we can see from the inside here. There you go. How about that? Pretty good looking, right? Pretty good looking. And then, can't get the, uh, it's too, too much of a glimmer there. This is the, uh, you should hold on. Okay, there you go. There's your overflow. This one's, this one, is hooked up to a different sump. I'll show you in a second. But here's the Dragon Bloods hooked up to that same system over here. All right, flows all the way around there. You see that? All right, now they all come up to this piping system from the ceiling. All right, which is hooked up to this pump here okay so this pump is literally pumping to all of these tanks with the exception of one okay with the exception of one and it's this one right here which is a angelfish tank and this one has an overflow but it's hooked up to its own sump down here. All right. Now, what's the plan with this filter? Well, so how you can have that sump is going to go on the new 135 over here. Okay. Yeah. And so these two small tanks will be gone 
275 sitting right there. Okay. 275 will be right here. And the, both of those tanks will be uh, what kind of fish? We have this angel fish and what else? Well, I'll be, 275 here. There's gonna probably be the Laguna in one and then the Pantosa. We can look at the lemon sickle if we can get it. And then the 135 is gonna be the for her the angels and the rainbows. And Get her a couple yeah. yeah, that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be real nice. Well, that's it, guys. A quick tour uh, of the fish room here. Some of the plans for future videos. We're gonna try to do one video a week at least. I think that's a very obtainable goal. I really appreciate you guys watching. Let us know if you have any questions down in the comments. We're happy to uh, get back to you, all right? We'll see you on the next one.